What is the secret ingredient that makes some people simply irresistible? It's charisma. Hi everyone, welcome to Mind Blend. Imagine walking into a room and instantly capturing everyone's attention. That's the magic of charisma. It's not about being the loudest or the most attractive. It's about that special spark that makes people want to be around you. Now you may be wondering, how can I become more charismatic? Well, we've got you covered. Today, we're going to share with you 12 humble habits that can skyrocket your charisma. These habits, when practiced consistently, can help you connect better with others, make a lasting impression, and even open doors to new opportunities. So, are you ready to transform your life with the power of charisma? Before we delve into these habits, make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Habit number one, active listening. This means truly being present during conversations, showing genuine interest in what others have to say. It's not about waiting for your turn to speak, but fully immersing yourself in the other person's words and feelings. It's about understanding, not just hearing. This is a key aspect of charisma because it shows others that you value their thoughts and experiences. Remember, charismatic people are not just good talkers, they're exceptional listeners. Moving on to habit number two, positive body language. The way you carry yourself can say a lot about your charisma. Maintaining eye contact shows you're engaged, while a simple smile can make you appear more welcoming. Open body language, such as uncrossed arms or leaning in slightly, suggests you're approachable, fostering stronger connections. So remember, the next time you're in a conversation, let your body do some of the talking. Your body language speaks volumes about your charisma. Habit number three, confidence. Confidence isn't about portraying an image of perfection, but about embracing your strengths and accepting your weaknesses. It's about being comfortable in your own skin. To build confidence, start by acknowledging your achievements, no matter how small. Practice self-love and self-care. Surround yourself with positive energy. Remember, the more you believe in yourself, the more others will too. Confidence is contagious. So wear it like a badge of honor. Confidence is the cornerstone of charisma. Next up, habits four, five, and six, empathy, authenticity, and composure. Let's delve into empathy first. Empathy is about understanding others' emotions and experiences. It's like stepping into their shoes and seeing the world from their perspective. Empathy is about acknowledging the emotions of others, showing genuine concern, and offering support where needed. It's not about agreeing with everyone or sympathizing, it's about understanding. When you exhibit empathy, you create a bond of trust and people are naturally drawn to you. Moving on to authenticity. Authenticity is about being true to oneself, being honest and being real. It's about embracing who you are, flaws and all, and not pretending to be someone you're not. Authenticity is not about being perfect, but about being genuine and real. It's about being the same person in all situations and not changing your persona to fit the crowd. People are attracted to authenticity because it's rare and it's real. And now, composure. Composure is the ability to remain calm under pressure, to keep your cool when the heat is on. It's about handling stress with grace and maintaining control over your emotions, even in challenging situations. Composure doesn't mean you don't feel stress or anxiety, it means you manage these emotions effectively and don't let them dictate your actions. When you're composed, you're seen as reliable and trustworthy, someone who can handle whatever comes their way. In essence, empathy, authenticity, and composure are interlinked. And together, they form a powerful combination to boost your charisma. Empathy allows you to connect with others on a deeper level, authenticity makes you relatable and trustworthy, and composure shows your ability to handle pressure with grace. Together, they make you a person others want to be around, a person others look up to. Empathy, authenticity, and composure are the trifecta of charisma. Now let's look at habits 7, 8, and 9. Optimism, humor, and adaptability. Imagine you're walking through a forest, and you encounter a thick, gnarled tree blocking your path. You have three choices. You can turn back, you can sit and lament over the obstacle, or you can find a way around it. The charismatic person chooses the third option. They remain optimistic, believing in their ability to overcome. This is the seventh habit, optimism. It's all about maintaining a positive outlook even when times are tough. It's about seeing the glass half full, not half empty. It's about finding the silver lining in every cloud. Optimism is attractive, it draws people in and makes them want to be around you. Now, imagine you're at a party. The room is full of laughter and you notice one person at the center of it all. They're telling a story, and everyone is hanging on their every word. That person is using the eighth habit, humor. Humor is a powerful tool. It can break the ice, relieve tension, and create a bond between people. 
But it's important to use humor wisely. It should never be at the expense of others. It should be inclusive, not exclusive. It should bring joy, not pain. Finally, let's go back to the forest. You found a way around the tree, but now you're facing a river. You can't go around it, so you have to find another way. This is where the ninth habit, adaptability, comes into play. Being adaptable means being flexible in the face of change. It means being able to adjust your plans, your thoughts, your actions to suit the situation. It means being open to new ideas, new experiences, new ways of doing things. Adaptability is a sign of strength, of resilience. It shows that you can handle whatever life throws at you. Optimism, humor, and adaptability are the keys to a charismatic personality. These three habits, when practiced consistently, can help you become the person everyone wants to be around. So, keep your chin up, keep your wit sharp, and keep your mind open. The world is full of possibilities. Finally, habits 10, 11, and 12, respect, gratitude, and passion. These are the final pieces to the charisma puzzle, the ones that truly make you shine in the eyes of others. Let's start with respect. It's more than just treating others the way you want to be treated. It's about recognizing and appreciating the inherent value in each person. It's about listening and acknowledging their thoughts, feelings, and experiences. It's about valuing their time as much as you value your own. When you show respect, you send a powerful message that you see them, you hear them, you appreciate them. And in turn, they're more likely to see, hear, and appreciate you. Next up is gratitude. It's the habit of acknowledging the good in your life and expressing thanks for it. It's about recognizing the small stuff like a warm cup of coffee and the big stuff like the love of friends and family. Gratitude boosts your charisma by making you a beacon of positivity. It makes you someone who sees the good in the world and in others, and that's incredibly attractive. So start your day by jotting down three things you're grateful for. It could be anything, from the morning sun to the sound of laughter. You'll be amazed at how this simple habit can transform your outlook and your charisma. Lastly, we have passion. This is the fire that lights you up from within. It's what gets you excited, what keeps you curious, what drives you forward. Passion is contagious. When you talk about what you love, your eyes sparkle, your gestures become more animated, and your voice gets infused with excitement. That energy is magnetic. It draws people in and makes them want to be around you. So find your passion, nurture it, share it, let it shine. Remember, respect, gratitude, and passion are the final pieces of the charisma puzzle. They're the habits that will make you not just liked, but loved not just noticed, but remembered. And isn't that what charisma is all about? So there you have it, the 12 humble habits to skyrocket your charisma. We've journeyed through listening actively and projecting positive body language to harnessing the power of confidence. We've explored the depths of empathy, authenticity, and composure, and how they contribute to a magnetic persona. We've also seen the lightness that humor and optimism can bring and how adaptability can keep us in the good graces of changing circumstances. Lastly, we delved into the transformative power of respect, gratitude, and passion. Remember, charisma isn't about manipulation or deceit. It's about connecting genuinely with others. It's about becoming the kind of person others want to be around. Each of these habits, when nurtured and practiced, can help you become more charismatic, more influential, and more likable. So, take these humble habits and let them guide you towards a more charismatic you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. Stay tuned for more enlightening content.